This is the story of a city that revived itself from an atomic bomb and became a happening tourist destination 75 years later. Next up on the trip, the oyster paradise, Hiroshima. Hiroshima has history, heritage and a happening street life. The world may remember it for its unfortunate past, but for the traveller, Hiroshima presents many a wonder. We are in the JR Loop bus provided with the Japan Rail Pass. So this goes on different routes like you can see here. So we will make a trip, tour of all the places, not get down anywhere because we are heading to our hostel right now. And from there we will get out, explore a little and then head over to Miyajima today. War devastates generations. Hiroshima and Nagasaki are perhaps some of the most talked about war-affected cities of our time. The destruction here was huge. The Peace Memorial Park is at the center of the city and also marks the hypocenter of the blast, which was originally 600 meters above ground. The Cenotaph is a key monument in the park. It preserves the names of all victims of the bomb and holds the peace flame burning since the day of the blast in hope of peace in the world. There is a Japanese saying that with a thousand grains, one is granted a wish. Children and visitors from all over the world offer origami paper cranes at the Children's Peace Monument wishing for world peace. The statue of Sadaku Sasaki standing atop this monument has a fascinating story in itself. Walking across the Peace Memorial Park, at the corner you will see the only standing building from the time of the blast. This is the Genbaku Dome or commonly known as the Atomic Bomb Dome. It is also located at the intersection of the distinguishable T-shaped IOA bridge which was the original target for the bombs. We attended a sacred fire ritual for peace that was taking place at the park on the Sunday morning. To indulge in the famous oysters here, we went to Sukemen, just opposite the atomic bomb dome. On the menu was okonomiyaki, sort of an oyster pancake. It's made with cabbages, eggs, squids and oysters. And this guy is making seven of them together. You can visit the museums, the castle or gardens. We decided to take a short hike on the Futa Banusato Heritage Walking Trail which takes one towards the Mount Futaba Peace Pagoda. through the heritage site. Totally recommend it but take it at your own pace because it keeps going uphill through the forest as you can see. 
and there are innumerable Tory gates. Hiroshima is a modern city today. The Peace Boulevard here runs across the heart of the city and plays host to multiple cultural events. Join us on a bus ride bioscope on the Peace Boulevard. From Hiroshima, you can take a short train ride followed by a ferry to reach the Miyajima Island, famous for its floating giant Tori Gate and the Itsukushima Shrine. Miyajima is a temple island with abundance of nature and only a few stay options. It's worth going early morning to hike till the top, take in the views and indulge in the delightful street food of Miyajima. The floating shrine is privately held and gets submerged at high tide on the sea. The entire setup is quite robustly maintained and is a big crowd puller. The streets are bustling with tourists in the day, but as sunset engulfs the island, peace comes to the dark streets. Spending a night here will be quite an exquisite experience. We chose to go here for the sunset and cannot complain at all because it was beautiful. Although the giant Tori gate was under renovation. in Hiroshima is attractive and full of little surprises. After returning from the island, we wanted to indulge in some more culinary adventures. Having a dinner at the legendary izakaya was a must try. Some lip smacking finger food and sake was to be had. enjoyed watching this episode. Catch us on a new adventure, indulging in sensory experiences in our next episode where we will take you to the cultural capital of Japan. If you liked watching this video, please subscribe on the button below. <music>